Are you looking for a cost efficient and easy way to change the vibes in your car? Well, I have the solution for you. And in today's video, we're going to be installing car atmosphere lights. So these lights is going to be going in the interior of your car and they change color. Let's go. This right here is the car atmosphere lights and uh, we'll do the unboxing. This is what the box looks like. It's a plain black box with like some metal looking texture. So we're gonna go ahead and open it and this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a couple zip ties, uh, like an instruction manual. And of course we have the lights itself. Now we're gonna get four pieces of this. Each of them has double sided tape already. And basically you're just gonna plug this into your um, USB port and of course we have a remote so that we can control it and we have the installation guide and that's all you get on the box uh, if you want I'm gonna be linking it down in the description so that you can go check it out but uh, let's go ahead with the installation so installing these lights it's fairly simple all you really need to do is make sure that this part right here is nice and clean and like this already comes with double-sided tape so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread all the wires out so it comes in the box like this nicely um, packed so we're just gonna untangle these and we're just gonna stretch these out like so and basically this box right here you can just like keep it under here and then you can plug it in via USB cable. That's where it gets the power source from. Before any installation, you want to make sure that everything works first uh, before you install it. Otherwise, after you install the product and then you try testing it out and then you find out that some of it is not working or one side of it is not working, then you have to take everything apart and start from the beginning. So. We don't want that to happen, so we're going to go ahead and test this out first. Uh, of course, pull this little thing out. The car is not powered on. <laughs> I'm wondering, why is this working? So now that the car is powered on, so it is actually, this actually has like a microphone. So as you can see, it's like whenever I'm talking, uh, there's like a microphone here, so it's reacting to my voice or to the noise uh, that it's hearing. So we're going to turn that off and just make it red. And as you can see, all of them are working, which is a good sign. So we can actually install these now. And it has like different modes. We can make it green, blue, orange, red, or yellow and cyan which is like a lighter color of blue then there's purple and then there's white okay, this is what the remote looks like so i'm wondering what jump three and jump seven means uh so try it out. we're gonna try that out so it just flashes different colors uh now jump seven uh i think it's going faster uh Fade three. All right, so it fades different colors just like that. And then fade seven. Pretty much does the same thing, only it's a continuous um, kind of change. And then we have a bunch of music buttons. So we're going to. Hey! So whatever noise it hears, it just changes colors if it detects noise. Um, same with music number two. Hello? Okay, so yeah, so music three reacts to the voice uh, even more. What about music four? This is music four, um, so this just basically blinks every time it detects noise. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, for right now, uh, I'm probably just gonna leave it on white, uh, but we're gonna be installing this first. Now that we know that all the lights work, 
uh, let's go ahead and install this. So with this, uh, we get two longer cables and we get two shorter cables. So the longer cables are gonna go right under this seat while the shorter cables are gonna go under here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Always make sure that the surface is nice and clean. With cleaning the interior, I'm just gonna use alcohol because it's a fast drying liquid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this onto the microfiber cloth. I'm not gonna directly spray this, otherwise all the little small particles is gonna spread. So just spray it on the microfiber cloth and just clean the surface. And where you're gonna wanna stick this is right here. Uh, so if you come closer, babe. You're gonna wanna stick this on this bar right here because if you open up your glove box, then you know your lights are gonna be on. Uh, so you don't want that to happen. So we're gonna close that up. There's a little bar right here and that's what we're gonna clean. Once it's all dry, just grab your shorter cable, which I believe is this one. Peel the tape off. So we're gonna be plugging this in with the wire facing this way. That way we can hide all these wires because it is gonna be a wiry mess, uh, which is one of the downsides of this product. As much as possible, try to stick it on the middle. So this is about the middle area right here and just stick it on just like that. Test your glove box by opening it. And if it's not hitting this, then you're, you're fine. Um, and then for the wire, you can actually just tuck your wire inside, like so. Like this. So it will be completely hidden. So the only wires that are going to be showing is the wires that are going to uh, the wires that are going to be going under the chair. Um, but other than that, that's about it. Um, let's go ahead and do the rear now. Now we're in the back. Uh, so same thing from the front. First, we're going to do this. We're going to put this underneath the chair, like so, so that every time somebody decides to push their chair in and out like that at least the wire will be underneath the chair instead of on the side uh, if it's on the side there's gonna be a greater risk of the wire like getting shredded by the chair so you don't want that to happen so we're gonna put this underneath the chair just like this take this and pull okay mm -hmm. I'm talking to you sorry <laughs> Go ahead. All right, so now with this one, there is actually a metal bar that's underneath your chair. So it's gonna go right here. So you can actually take some scissors and cut this part right here. That way your metal can be exposed. Or you can just put it um, where the fabric is. Um, it's not gonna stick that well because you know it's fabric and anytime it could come off. But um, I suggest taking some scissors and cutting this part off right here. But unfortunately, I don't have scissors, so we're just gonna stick it on the fabric. Peel this off and stick. Make sure it's in the middle or close to the middle. And then you're just gonna hide this wire like that. Because like I said earlier, you want extra wire just in case this chair goes back and forth. And uh, that's it. Done. And then you're going to do the same thing on the passenger side underneath this chair. Uh, however, the driver's side is going to be a little bit different than the passenger side front area. Uh, because we have the steering wheel there. So let's go ahead and do the front now. So as you can see, this is the steering wheel adjuster. And then I found this little area right here. It's a nice flat area that's like facing that way. So this is actually a perfect spot to put the interior uh, lights. Now, the center of this right here is not gonna get any contact with the plastic unless you wanna put this on the side. So if we put this on the side, then it's gonna look like this. Only one side will get lit. Whereas if we go in the middle, then your whole floor will get lit. So we're going to risk not having this middle piece right here stick to anything so that the lighting will be even. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Just like earlier, just try to put this in the middle as much as possible so that you can get even lighting. 
that's about the middle and stick this on we're gonna be hiding all the wires behind this plastic part right here so that's what we're gonna do because you don't want to be stepping on this you can feed the wire through here make sure none of the wires are hanging because uh, again you don't want to step on this while you're driving so it's gonna be hidden just like that it's like nothing is there and there you go done driver's side done so this is what it looks like inside of the car and every time you start the car these lights will turn on and whatever color you leave it it'll turn on with that color so I think that's pretty cool and convenient especially at night um, and like it really does change the look of the car so if I go out let me just turn this off that's what it's gonna look like on the outside so you're really getting that nice customizable uh, interior lighting for your car so and like you can change the color all you want but yeah these are really worth getting um, I really do like these lights not only does the front have it but also the rear so both sides have them and it really does look nice on the car hey babe what do you think about these lights now it's time for subscriber builds where I show off your builds on my channel and our first build for today is our first build for today is from AB with his Type R and he says, Chris, I've been following you for a while now and I went the same route you went. I had a FK7 and went FK8 and like you, I'm slowly making it my own. I've added 18 inch wheels, carbon steering wheel, racing, shift knob, among a few other things. My Instagram is msrpfk8 for anyone who wants to follow. I always follow back. Next up is a bill from Chris Claros and he says, Hey Chris, this is Chris from San Diego, California. Here's my 2021 Civic sedan with smoke side markers, chrome handlebars, and side window louvers. I also switched out the interior bulbs and headlights with LEDs after watching your tutorials. Love the content on your channel. Keep it up. Next we have Ileana Umanzor which says, Hi Chris, been watching your YouTube channel for a while now. Always amazed and appreciate all the content you bring and inspired me to do more on my car. Keep up the great work. Hope my car is fire enough for your channel. Peace. And our final build for today is from Josh Augustine and he says, Hey Chris, here's my 2019 Honda Civic EX hatchback. It's still a work in progress, but here's a few mods that I've done so far. PRL short ram intake, boom bub blow off valve, spec D spoiler, black handle and mirror covers, front lip, sea light LED headlight, and a dual 12 inch 2400 scar subs. There's a few bumps and bruises on it, but I'm looking to fix her up soon. Keep up the good content. If you want your build to be featured on the channel, send me an email at christimefk7 at gmail.com so that your build can be featured on my channel. Back to the video. All right guys, so my final thoughts on this product is it truly is worth it. Um, I think it's a good way to spice up your interior lighting in your car and like it gives you that nice ambient lighting so it's not like in your face or distracting while you're driving in my opinion i think it's highly worth it and like if you have friends or you know family that rides your car um even if you're doing uber or you know any of those services then your passengers will surely get that wow factor um and like it's like i said earlier it's very easy to install and it's really inexpensive you can control the device with a remote and like it works when you turn the car back on it's going to go back to that preset so you're not going to keep on pressing a button on the remote every time you go into your car i would rate it a nine out of ten uh nine out of ten only because there's like the amount of wires that you need to hide but obviously you can't avoid showing some of the wires so but like i said it's not in your face and it's not distracting so would i get these again absolutely i'm actually thinking about putting this on the type r uh, just so that i can add a little bit of ambient lighting in that car anyways guys that about wraps up this video if you like this video be sure to hit that like button comment down below what you guys think of this video and if you have any future suggestions on what kind of videos that i should be doing in the future let me know down in the comments and just a reminder i will be announcing the giveaway winners on the next video so the next video is going to be uploaded 
uh, I believe this Saturday or this Sunday, I can't remember. But sometime during this weekend, I will be uploading that video announcing the giveaway winners. Oh, and by the way, this is my 100th video on the channel. And I'm really proud of what we've become. Um, it's 12K going strong. And like just not too long ago, I was like super happy with reaching 1K. And like, I really do appreciate all the support that you guys been giving me and this channel. Uh, without you guys, I wouldn't be making videos of this car um, and like just hearing from your feedback is awesome. I love hearing from you guys. I love your feedback. I love your interaction and I love interacting with you guys. So uh, yeah, thank you all for your support. Until next time, this is Chris Time FK7. Thank you all for watching and peace out.